In today's episode, I'm embellishing a frame with shimmering stars, making it a perfect option for displaying a favorite holiday photo. To make the mat and embellish the mat, I'm using Crafters Companion's Luxury Cardstock. I'm using a gold and a silver pack, and there's a glitter paper and a matte shine and then a beautiful mirror tone. To make the window in the photo mat, I'm going to be using the larger square from the Gemini Set 3 die set, and that's going to place that photo opening in the middle of my cardstock. I did cut a piece of the silver matte cardstock to 8x10 so that it would fit in my frame. And then I determined where I would need to place it, place the die on the magnetic sheet so that it would cut the window where I wanted. I wanted it off center, not centered. I followed the manufacturer's instructions for creating the different layers of the sandwich that you make in order to properly die cut the shape from the material and ran it through my Gemini. The first layer of details for the mat is going to be rubber stamping. I'm using two beautiful star stamps from Judykins, her ribbon star and ornate star. And I'm going to use a gold and a silver metallic ink pad to stamp them. I sort of randomly covered the surface with both stamps, allowing one pattern to overlap the other a little bit and some of them to extend off the page. Now depending on the type of ink you choose to use, this particular ink needs to be heat set. So I used a heat tool and gave it a very light heating to set that ink without burning the surface of the cardstock. To create the die cut stars, I'm using the Shine Bright die set and these are so delicate, they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to use a combination of the outer stars and the inner stars and I'm also going to use a mixture of the cardstocks. I followed the instructions again and cut my assortment of stars and now I'm ready to start layering them onto the stamped mat. Any extra pieces that may not have been removed when you took apart the die and the paper you can push out with a craft knife. I wanted to create a pattern with the largest star as the base in a direction that would work whether I used the frame horizontally or vertically. And I did allow that big star to extend into the frame opening where the photo will go. Just apply a little touch of a clear drying adhesive to the star. Uh, if you can help it, do not allow that adhesive to show through those holes. It just gives you a cleaner finished effect. After the main star was in place, I mounted some of the small silver glitter stars to the center of some of those ribbon stars that were stamped on the mat. I continued with some mirrored stars that I cut using both the outer frame and the inner frame of the stars. And for the last one, I mounted one of the silver glitter stars over one of the gold mirror stars and added that kind of collage style over the largest gold glitter star. To add some more sparkling dimensional embellishments, I'm using Judykin's Diamond Glaze, and I love this delicate little tip that you can use to give you more control. And the glaze is also an adhesive and I began outlining the mirrored silver stars with diamond glaze. Once you have that first star outlined, it's time to add some of the tiny glass beads. And I'm using gold, and these are also from Judykins. And you'll notice I'm doing this over one of Judykins snappy trays, and you'll see why this is so useful when we're finished. Continue to outline and add the gold beads around the remaining silver metallic stars. And now you 
see why the snappy tray is so handy because that little funnel on the end allows you to return your glass beads or your glitter or any small things that you're working with right to the jar that they came from with almost no mess. I wanted to add some silver rocks, which is a German glass chunky glitter from JD Kim's, around the center opening for the photo. So I just outlined it and then applied the rocks. I did choose a gold metallic frame that has a little depth to it and that way it just gives me a little bit more space for that chunky glass glitter and those micro beads. But they're so fine that a regular frame would probably work fine. And I just placed the glass over the mat and then insert it into the frame and I'm ready for the photo and the backing materials. We hope you're enjoying our Holiday Happening series, sponsored by Crafters Companion and Judykins. Please follow us on social media, and remember to sign up on our website so you'll be eligible to win a prize package full of some of our favorite products. And as we always say, when creativity knocks, open the door.